Before I ask the question, in, in every single fact check, it says that he's false on that, that Hillary Clinton has never said or even intimated that she wants to take away the Second Amendment. How much do you think that the tragedy in Orlando is going to change the gun discussion um, on the campaign trail? Well, you know, I do think that she has intimated that because she was asked if she agrees with the Supreme Court ruling uh, that basically says the Second Amendment entails a right to actually hold a weapon. It's called the Heller case. And she said, oh, I'm not sure if I agree with that interpretation. So that, that I think, is debatable. But I do want to say I agree with what Anna is saying 100 percent. And I think that we should take partisan politics out of this. And that means budging on, on the various issues. And Donald Trump, we've seen him say, I want to look into and perhaps support, talk with the NRA about making sure people on okay. the terror watch list do not get me, guns. I think that's about, reasonable let me read this. and that is sensible. I, I, I want to read the PolitiFact on uh, the Heller decision, okay? So it says, um, talking about Hillary Clinton and what you just said, that she has intimated that. This suggests that Clinton disagrees. Clinton, she states that she would have the power to craft common sense laws and keep their residents safe, that cities and states should have common, the power of common power uh, to craft common sense laws to keep their residents safe. That's what she said. This suggests, according to the PolitiFact, that Clinton disagrees with the court de declaring that the district ban on handguns un unconstitutional, not necessarily the individual right itself, a position more or less in line with what George W. Bush, that administration position was on Heller, of recognizing the right but allowing reasonable uh, curtailment. So here's what they say, um, that for this claim to hold water, to support the Second Amendment, um, uh, Second Amendment abolishment needs to be more direct, so they rate it false, and they rate Donald Trump's statement false about Hillary Clinton wanting to destroy the Second Amendment and using the Heller decision as proof that she wants to destroy the Second Amendment is just completely false. Hillary Clinton, it is absolutely fair to question whether she supports the individual constitutional right to hold a weapon if she wants to call into question the Supreme Court's jurisprudence on Heller. I think that's a very fair way to say it. Does she want to abolish it? Does she not support the individual right to, to have an arm? It doesn't matter. It's semantics at that point. She is not a staunch Second Amendment defender, but I really don't think that's the point right now, Dom, because the media is trying desperately to make this about guns. This is about Islamic terrorism. No, we should the media is not trying to make this about guns. Gun it's not. Yes, Kaylee, yes they Kaylee, are. Kaylee, the yes, media is not trying to make having... this about guns. I am speaking for the family members who I've been sitting down with since Sunday who are upset. Some are Republicans, some are Democrats, some are independents. Some, mo all of them say that they believe in the Second Amendment, but they're tired of this partisan bickering, as Anna says, about and the Second Amendment. Don Donald Trump says at every turn that Hillary Clinton wants yeah. to abolish the Second Amendment, and if that is a lie, then we are obligated to point it out. It Don is not true, and you should not come on national Don television saying it's true when it is not. That is who is making this Don a partisan thing. Bringing it up is Donald Trump, no, not the media. No, because here is the thing. Here is the thing. We are talking, this entire segment is about guns. Donald Trump is the one candidate out there who has budged and said, hey, my party needs to come around on this. Where is Barack Obama and where are the segments talking about Islamic extremism? Because we can abolish guns like, like France did basically, the assault weapons banned. But the last four terrorist attacks have all occurred, despite assault weapons being banned under French law, they've all occurred with assault weapons. So we can talk about guns, but that is doing an injustice to the families. We can talk about guns. We need to make changes there. But by ignoring Islamic extremism, this will happen again. We will have this discussion again, and it's doing a complete injustice to them to ignore the root of the problem. Don. No one is ignoring extremism. The whole, our whole show has been about Islamic extremism. Go ahead, Maria. Don, and this is exactly why we can't have a sensible conversation about this, because even when confronted with facts, Trump and his supporters ignore them as if they don't exist. And so as long as you have that kind of mentality, when you have leaders, the standard bearer of the Republican Party, essentially continuing to underscore outright lies, then it is hard to have a sensible conversation. But the fact of the matter is, is that majority of Americans 
are demanding a sensible conversation and sensible changes to ensure that people who should not have guns are not able to acquire guns. Republicans are starting to come around on this because I think they realize, and again, in deference to the families, because like you said, and I have seen these interviews with you, Don, they are demanding this kind of sensible exchange of sensible changes to the gun laws to make sure that gun safety is put first. That does not mean that anybody wants to get rid of the Second Amendment. It does mean that sensible changes can be made so that this, so that it's harder for this kind of